Hey everyone, welcome back to JavaScript tutorial. In the previous video, we learned arithmetic operators. Now, in this lecture, we will take a look at comparison operator. As the name implies, comparison operator compare two different values. Broadly speaking, there are three type of comparison operator. Strict equality, abstract equality, and relational equality. We will take a look at all these three types in the next tutorial. But now, just take a look how comparison operator looks like. So the following is the comparison operator to compare two different values. First, less than operator. Less than operator evaluate to true if its first operand is less than its second operand. Otherwise, it evaluate to false. Less than operator evaluate to value left to right for example if i declare two variables here let x is equal to 5 comma y is equal to 10 then i will just print these values on the console so i will say console.log and in the parenthesis i will say x is less than y now what will be the result the result would be true because x means 5 is less than y it means 10 5 is less than 10 that is why the result would be true next greater than operator greater than operator evaluate to true if its first operand is greater than its second operand otherwise it evaluate to false greater than operator evaluate to value left to right for example we are using the same variable for this example also so i will just use console.log to print values on the console so i will say console.log and in the parenthesis i will specify x is greater than y so now the result would be false because x is less than y it means 5 is not greater than 10 that is why the result would be false if i just swap these values then the result would be different if i just say y is greater than x then the result would be true because 10 is greater than 5 that is why the result would be true don't be confused between less than and greater than operator okay keep that into your account how to declare greater than and how to declare less than operator next less than or equal to less than or equal to operator evaluate to true if its first operand is less than or equal to its second operand otherwise it evaluate to false less than or equal to evaluate to value left to right for example if i just say console.log and in the parenthesis i will specify x is less than equal to y then the result would be true because x means 5 is less than 10 it is not equal to 10 but it is less than 10 so that is why the result would be true if i just change the value of the y so i will just say 5 specify 5 value here so the result would be true because 5 is not less than 5 but 5 is equal to 5 that is why the result would be true and if i just change the value of the 5 and specify 3 here then the result would be false why because x means 5 is less than 3 no then it will check again x means 5 is equal to 3 no that is why the result would be false next greater than or equal to greater than or equal to operator evaluate to true if its first operand is greater than or equal to its second operand otherwise it evaluate to false greater than or equal to operator evaluate to value left to right for example I will just print a message using console.log and in the parenthesis I will specify x is greater than and equal to y 
then the result would be false because x means 5 is not greater than 10 and x means 5 is not equal to 10 that is why the result would be false and if i just change the value of the y variable and say 5 here then the result would be true because 5 is not greater than 5 but 5 is equal to 5 so that is why the result would be true and if i just change the value and just say 3 here then what is the result the result would be true because x means 5 is greater than 3 but not equal to 3 so the first value is true means x is greater than 3 that is why the result would be true as simple as that that's it now your comparison operator is completed in the next tutorial i will describe three types of comparison operator i hope you understand this lecture i have asked a question in the comment answering that question will help you to understand this topic more deeply that is all for this lecture we will see you in the next tutorial